right guys, we're in the shop and uh, we're gonna go over my favorite, not only my favorite, my only fluorocarbon fishing knot that I tie. On a jig, on a drop shot, everything in between, my glide bait, spinner bait, chatter bait, you name it, this is the only knot that I tie when it comes to fluorocarbon. Let's do it. All right, so this is my favorite Molex jig and it requires thick cover, heavy hook sets, um, a lot of power to get those fish out and a lot of short, sharp hook sets. And I'm gonna show you how to tie this knot and the reason why it's so good. So straight up fluorocarbon, we're gonna go through and we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna go back through. So we're gonna double. And that's really important with fluorocarbon to have the line doubled over anything. And that gives it that um, sort of that, that footing to, hold on to any sort of small line tie or small hook. It just makes it doubly as strong and stops it from cutting into the fluorocarbon because that's what we're trying to stop. We're trying to stop any sort of pressure on that fluorocarbon from kinking it. So we've gone double through like this. And so now we've, we're gonna pinch it up near the top of the line like this and we're gonna fold it all the way up and we're gonna pinch it about halfway. So we end up with this tag in and this is what we're gonna actually use to tie the knot. So once we've pinched it here, we're gonna turn it around, down, and we're gonna start wrapping it just like we would normally do on a knot. So we're going down, we're wrapping. Three, four, this is heavy fluorocarbon, so I'm only gonna do four wraps. And I'm gonna go through, just like a normal knot, this loop that we've created underneath here. So we go straight through that bottom loop. Now here's where it starts to get a little tricky. We go up and we've created this loop at the top where we pinched it and folded this tag in down. We're gonna go through that loop and it's gonna be two of them up there. They're gonna be side by side. We're gonna go through. And now that's kind of the knot done and now it's all about cinching it, cinching it down. And normally you would lubricate this knot, wet it, but I'm gonna show you why this knot's so good and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pinch all tag ends on this far end of the knot and I'm gonna let go of the knot and grab the bait and I'm gonna put pull it down and that's gonna actually make the knot. So the knot's done, but it's just not pulled down. And now I'm gonna let go of the loop, <laughs> grab these two and I'm gonna slide it down. Now what? this is why it's gonna be so strong for you and why the knot's so strong. I'm gonna pull it down, no lubrication, haven't wet it, that's just dry line, which is a nightmare and exactly what you don't wanna do when it comes to fluorocarbon. But look at this. I've pulled it down, I've cinched it down. This is the line to the rod. Look how smooth it is. There's not a single kink, burn, a turn, not a touch on it. And that's because that knot is basically wrapped around this and, and it's a straight line through all the way to this loop. It's not twisted. It hasn't got this cutting it or burning it. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna cut the, you're gonna end up with three tag ends. I'm gonna cut them nice and short. And that is what I call an improved San Diego jam knot. So a jam knot or a San Diego knot would be this almost exact knot in a single line and an improved is a double. Now the single line is great, but it's a less percentage breaking knot than the improved. So this is just almost 100%. Your line is gonna break anywhere but that knot. And that's what makes it so special. All right guys, there you go. That's the improved San Diego jam knot. It's the only fluorocarbon knot I tie. I've tested them all. I've put them through all their paces, weights and everything. And this is the strongest knot that I've found on fluorocarbon for every single technique. Make sure you try the San Diego jam improved.